And then 77, 78, when, did, uh, when, when was your first U.S. tour of duty? <laughs> uh, about 78, yeah. But yeah, I remember going to L.A. and it was like 104 degrees or more. Oh. And that was, you know, things like that. And Texas and stuff. And, you know, it's hot, yeah. A lot of... Uh, we get a well, few of those. Everyone in England is always surprised at the at how huge the United States actually is. Is that uh, what you found? Like, how, how big is this country? <laughs> um, actually, it's small when you go around for two or three months. <laughs> I found yeah. it is a big country, too. But, I mean, you know, we used to kind of get... In, we used to fly everywhere in the early days, 78. We were forever running to the airports and... Oh, okay. Then we tried it on the tour buses, and the thing was then that um, um, you'd start off like in Florida, and then by the time you got to Niagara Falls, it'd be raining, and you know you'd step out of the tour bus in a t-shirt, and it'd be like, "Fuck, you need, you need like a a parka or something." You know, it's freezing here. So you used to see all the different elements, you know, on a two-month tour all the way around. Then you get to LA and it was all sunny again and Frisco and stuff. So every time you stepped out of the tour, but you didn't know what weather you was going to get, you know. <laughs> Where did you play in Los Angeles? Well, we played lots of places. Yeah. Santa Monica Civic in the early days. Yeah. Um, back in 78, the Santa Monica Civic. Yeah, like... Like that's, that's where uh, Bowie played a long time ago. You know. That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. And I remember passing there and thinking Elvis Costello was playing the Whiskey of Go Go, you know. And I thought, when are we going to play? And suddenly we turned up at the Santa Monica Civic. And somebody actually smashed the front window there and they said, we'll never play there again. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> awful. Um, but we actually did. But yeah, Bowie played there, didn't he? And stuff like that. And I think we did that a lot later as well and we played the palace yeah <laughs> um combined yeah at a few places we did the palace one time and then um immediately after we did uh, the johnny depp club you know the as a li little jest at the vapor rooms. yeah it was when river phoenix had just died you know yeah. um that was yeah. a heavy night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> I didn't die. I managed to get home out of there. <laughs> but it was kind of a nice, interesting night there. Yeah. Was that really? Was it that same around that same time, or was? It was a few weeks after River Phoenix had just died. Oh. I think. Wow. Okay. Still going. I think we got the best cocaine that night. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Better. <laughs> we didn't get the bad stuff. The Coca Cola. They told me. <laughs> of course. That's what Johnny told me. <laughs> so many, many happy memories of LA, you know, and things like that. Yeah. Uh, all the best, yeah. all the best <laughs> venues, and oh. and Santa Monica Civic is bigger than the whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were a much bigger band than Elvis <laughs> yeah. Costello. Well, bigger exactly. Artist. Yeah, I remember Albert and Costello. They was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was a double act <laughs> when they started. Um, yeah, you just kind of think they kind of went over early in the police. And yeah. I remember when we first got to the States in New York, and they're going, What do you think of these punk bands? And it's like, What, the police and Elvis Costello had just left the Sex Pistols and the Clash. And so it seemed a little bit weird, you know. <laughs> did and you? And of course, on that tour, we did the Irving Plaza, the first gig. There were two nights there. And the Ramones turned up, which was a great honor, actually. Um, they kind of said, we do these kind of, well, they do them linear ones. And they said, you go off on these little, you know, tangents and little bits in the songs. That's amazing, man. But it was a great honor for the moment to be there when you first time in the States back mm. in the day, you know. Yeah, they were, so they were the ambassadors for you guys. Yeah. Well, it was just like, when we started, their album had come out just as we was making our record, the Spiral Scratch, the early record. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we find, well, you know, that inspired us that Ramones record, like it did almost everybody, really. And um, it's like suddenly there they are, you know, telling us we put all the bits and pieces in there. <laughs> it's not just straight ahead, you know. They liked all the little bits, you know. It seems fitting. Um, it seems. Yeah, so that was nice. And yeah, and, you know, it, it was kind of like 
it kind of full, come full circle really quick, you know, saying, well, we heard your album, <laughs> but it, it wasn't just that inspired us. It was probably Bowie and Brian, you know, all kinds of people really, you know, but, um, I, I do remember that about the first tour. And like I say, by the time we got to LA with it, Santa Monica Civic, you know. <laughs> what, what was that? Who, was, who else was on that bill? Do you remember? Like, who did you guys play with? Oh, I don't know now. I mean, we're talking okay. odd years ago. I mean, uh, somebody will have an old poster somewhere on EB. <laughs> right. Trying to find that. <laughs> um, you know, I can't remember because. Well, I always thought you don't take America, America takes you, you know, many mm. bands. We did many tours <laughs> and um, even Bo himself had to get out of town, didn't he, after a while. <laughs> um, we embraced America and loved it. And they, we, we took about two years to come to the States because we had about eight, eight or ten hits over here on the Top of the Pops TV show and we was doing Europe and, and we was has to go to America, but we, 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 you know, it was there all these things going on over here. So it took us two years. So when we did come, people had been waiting two years, really. Mm. And uh, but um, you know, it did work out right, you know. Yeah. Hence the Santa Monica Civic was quite euphoric and amazing for us, you know, first time in America. Yeah. And the great thing is, I think they got the bus comps right away, which was good, you know. 